All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Francois once again. Uh, Warframe, <laughs> it is currently 12-15-2021. Uh, the gr generous folks at DE decided to launch one more trailer. They, they, <laughs> they saw me say, uh, this is the last trailer we'll get before the launch, and then they just ju completely juked me out and uh, embarrassed me by releasing this official gameplay trailer for the new war. Coming later today to all platforms. So we're going to watch it, and if you don't ever see this video, it's because I didn't have any... There was nothing in this video worth putting out, so here we go. Damn it. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Hold on. Let me unmute YouTube, huh? Try that again. Hold on. Immediately. That's a pretty cool transition. I don't hate that. We see your fear. Your hesitation. Come into the warm. That's it. Come to me. I am eager to show you how this war ends. That's terrifying. Not with bombs and blood, but with truth. A truth for all who are strong enough to believe. Even you. How tediously human. A slapdash alliance making a feeble last stand. If you all crave death and a final flash of glory, Nothing else definitive, obviously. Uh, nothing else definitive. Um... Oh, man. Okay. So, so immediately we saw some new enemy types. Hold on, where was it? Uh, fucking Ballas acting awfully smug. And when I first saw this, I was like, oh, that's definitely like a... Like, maybe Ballas from the... There's one half of a second where you see that enemy. Come on. There it is. So these guys uh, look like... Because there was also a shot later on with uh, somebody putting like that helmet on who looks like, a, like an Osteron. So I'm wondering if, this, if these enemies are like corrupted Osterons or something. But these don't look like sentient designs. They look like they they absolutely look Oricon in nature. So I'm wondering if Ballas is See, here here's my question is Ballas they have positioned I think this is a bait and switch. I, I have a lot of thoughts going on all at once. I apologize. I think Ballas because Ballas gave us the Parasis, uh, the Parasesis or whatever the hell it's called, the big long sentient killing sword. So why is why are they playing up Ballas as being like the villain here? That's the thing that, that confuses me the most, is that Ballas very clearly, in every single like cutscene we've seen so far, it shows Ballas as being this, like, like wanting to switch sides and not wanting to be here. So why the fuck is he being played up? Why does he have an entire two-minute trailer of almost exclusively his voiceover? Like, I, 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 I think this is being played like this as a, as a, a bait and switch. I think this whole thing is a, like a, like a, I think this whole thing is to, to get us to think one thing and it's going to be another. I think it's all, uh, I think it's all big, uh, uh, a big bait and switch. These enemies look very, you can de definitely tell this person is in Osteron garb. 
Um, all right. Bombs and the, this this whole area. What the hell is going on here? Um, we saw this uh, in I believe during Tenocon maybe or or the release of some of the um uh like concept art or something and here's another one of those enemies that look like some kind of I think we've seen concept art for this guy before maybe not during last this year's Tenocon but last year's maybe um some kind of like orkin bishop type guy uh you can definitely see this is uh definitely Fortuna you can see the the minor guy in the background. So I'm wondering if this is going to be... If you're going to have to go to Fortuna and actually fight in Fortuna. Not um, this scene looks like it's set in Fortuna, but there's it's not quite right. And there's all this Orkin shit in here and that those big, like, red lenses. Bombs and I, oh, man. I don't know. Maybe it is Fortuna. Maybe this is after... I don't know. Th that's the problem. Is we just don't know. <laughs> so I can theory craft all I want, but in, in the long run, it may not actually be worth anything. And blood, but with truth. A truth for all who are strong enough to believe. Even you. And then, and then he goes on with this whole line about um, like truth, and he's like, "Oh, you you have to be strong enough to like accept this truth and whatnot." Like, what what does that even like? What does that mean? Um, I've been sort of working on my theory craft and stuff. Uh, I I think this is an out of context line. I think they have set this up to be this like oh like villainous reveal, uh, when in actuality I think it's one of two things. I think it's either the stalker being a Warframe, uh, and uh being an uh, you you getting to use the stalker as an ally at some point i think you the tenno are going to get captured at one point and balis is going to come to you in the sentient mothership with the stalker and it's going to be like an umbra situation where you get to like zip into the stalker and you fight your way out as the stalker uh i'm i'm con not entirely convinced that's not how it's going to go um but also, I've I've started to sort of mull around this idea of, and I'm sure this is not a new idea by any stretch of the imagination, but the Lotus herself, uh, the Lotus being a Cephalon. Uh, like, Nata wanted to, she discovered the Tenno and um, wanted to protect them, so she created a Cephalon called the Lotus and used this cephalon to overwrite her like sentient programming so that she would be able to successfully guide the Tenno through the second dream. And when Ballas came for the Lotus, that's what he disconnected. He was disconnecting the Lotus cephalon from Nata. And so without that cephalon, Nata returned to her original directive, which was destroy the Tenno. And this quest line is going to be either figuring out how to get the Lotus back as just a normal Cephalon, or getting the Ta back into the Cephalon chair so that, you know, we can get the Lotus back that way. Um... Either way, it'll be interesting. I think this is a lot of bait and switch. Um, I, I think that this... I think we've seen... And, and who knows? Maybe the cutscenes we've seen thus far um, are, are the How bait and switch. I don't know. The Slapdash Alliance making a feeble last stand. If you all crave death and a final flash of glory... Yep. Okay, so that was a very important scene before the silly little necromech came up. Um, I would love to see who's hand. We can't really tell who's doing this, but this is absolutely an Ostron 
Uh, these just look like Grenier, though. That guy looks like he's he's wearing the, the bishop mask, so that's very interesting. Maybe Ballas has figured out how to, like, corrupt people? And then this is a very interesting shot. I think this is real fucking weird. What the shit is that? What is that? Cri why is the stalker here? Like, I know he's in the... the why? Okay, so here's my big question. The stalker already failed Hun Hao. Okay? Why is the stalker coming back? The stalker's already had a whole quest in the second dream. Why? Also, interesting point of order, he doesn't have Hun Hao's armor on anymore. He has... You can see that he still has um, either the war or the broken war. I feel like it, it it should be oh god what if he's carrying the other half like the broken if you look at war uh the broken war is only like a small part of the actual blade so what if he's carrying the other half <laughs> the other half of the broken war that would be ridiculous what is this this is basically what i'm going on uh, it looks like Earth. It looks like he's found something. This is very interesting. I'm I'm not entirely convinced that the stock. I mean, look at this guy. This guy is screaming Warframe so hard. Are you kidding me? This guy's a Warframe for sure. Um, I think ugh, it's it's tough. It's tough because I he even has like sentient. Like, look at his helmet. Actually, can we talk about this? He had. What if? Oh my God. <laughs> what if what if um Ballas made a warframe that hunts other warframes from an Orican guard uh just like Excalibur Umbra in a moment of fear and hatred so he could operate without a Tenno and he made it based on a sentient design maybe I have a theory also that Caliban is going to be a post-quest, like, reward. Like, we're going to get, like, Caliban's blueprint once we finish the new war and then, like, be able to get Caliban parts from, like, a new sentient-centric mission type. But Ballas is going to send us the blueprint at the end of the quest being like, oh, hey, thanks for being allies. I made this Warframe while I was technically in captivity. Uh, because Ballas, every cutscene we've seen with Ballas, he's being hardcore disrespected and, like, sh like pushed around. So I'm wondering if Ballas... Oh, I'm sorry, I I'm rambling at this point. I'm saying the Stalker, because we know Ballas has technically been allied with the Sentience for a while. Ballas betrayed the Orican for... Betrayed the Orican with the Sentience. So what if the stalker was actually the first sentient centric warframe or or the first warframe with some sentient well I guess technically revenant would have been first whatever it doesn't matter he was technically corrupted by the sentient energy on the planes it's not really the same thing um a lot of interesting stuff in this trailer um Very, very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. Um, I am terrified at the implications, and I'm so excited about what's going to happen. I'm sorry that this video went on for so long. This is just me babbling at this point, basically. Um, but, you know, come hang out with me. Um, go follow me on Twitch. It's the exact same, Francois 878 We're going to be playing the New War live when it releases. It's going to be great. If you're more of a YouTube person, I will be uploading all of those streams uh, onto YouTube uh, as quickly as possible, um, obviously with the appropriate spoiler tags, uh, because I'm, this is, 
the most important update DE has ever launched. Bar none. So, uh, until next time, have a good one.